Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using an external JavaScript file. So the easiest way for you to write JavaScript with your HTML is just to include it in your HTML file using script tags. So over here, I just have this file index.html and down here I have these two script tags. And basically this code inside of those tags is JavaScript. It's valid JavaScript and I'm using this document.write command in order to print out hello world onto the document, onto the HTML page. You can see that's over here. But in addition to writing your JavaScript inside of these script tags, you can also write your JavaScript inside of its own JavaScript file. And then you can link up that JavaScript file with your HTML file and you can write the JavaScript in one file, you can keep it all organized, and then you can keep your HTML all organized, and they'll both work together. So I'm gonna show you how to create an external JavaScript file and wire it up with your HTML file. Over here, I have my little website folder. I'm just gonna create a new file inside of here, and I'm just gonna call this script.js. Now you can name this whatever you want. The one thing you do need though is this .js extension. That stands for JavaScript. So I'm gonna create this script.js file. And now we have a valid JavaScript file. So in here I could write any JavaScript code that I wanted and then I'll link it up to my HTML file and we'll see how it works. So I'm gonna use that same document.write command. And over here, I'm just gonna say script.js. So we'll basically just print out the name of the file that we're in. So over here in this index.html, what I need to do is I need to tell this file that we wanna use that script.js file. So I'm actually just gonna get rid of these script tags or I'll comment them out for the time being. So these are no longer gonna work. And I'm gonna come up here into the head of my document and in here, I'm gonna make another script tag. So it's just gonna be script. And I wanna pass this an attribute. So I wanna give this script tag some information. And we're gonna give it a source attribute. And basically we're gonna tell this script tag to go out and grab that JavaScript file that we just wrote. So it was called script.js. And inside of these quotation marks, you just wanna write the relative path to the JavaScript file. So in my case, uh, script.js and index.html, which is this file, are in the same directory, so I can just refer to this as script.js. So we'll close off this tag, and then we're also gonna need an ending tag. And so now what should happen is this script tag is gonna go grab this script.js, and we'll be able to use all the JavaScript that's inside of this file in this HTML file. So when I refresh the page, you'll see that we get script.js showing up here. So now we've wired up this JavaScript file with this HTML file. So I could come over here and put an alert and this will basically just alert a message out onto the screen and we can say um, the file is working because this file is now hooked up. And you can see here, we get this alert that tells us that. So that's how you can use a external JavaScript file. Now, one of the benefits of using an external JavaScript file is that you can include this JavaScript inside of multiple HTML files. So I'm just gonna real quick make another HTML file. We'll just call this page2.html. And I'll give this a basic HTML layout. And in here, I'm going to include that same JavaScript file. So inside of page two, I'm also including this script tag. And so now if I come over to my browser and I go to page two, you'll see that we get this same exact code. So I'm here on page two and it's able to use that same exact JavaScript that we used in that index.html file. And that's one of the cool things about storing our JavaScript in these external files. If I had just stored my JavaScript down here in these script tags, I wouldn't have been able to use that same code in another file. I'd have to physically copy it and paste it. But if I use an external file, then I can just write the code in one spot and use it in multiple HTML files. Now, 
using the script tags and using the external JavaScript file are, you know, they're doing the same thing functionally. And so, you know, one isn't necessarily better than the other. They're just used in different scenarios. Going forward in the course, we're going to be using an external JavaScript file just because it's a little bit cleaner and it's a little bit easier to kind of see without all that HTML cluttered up. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.